because I feel like a badass right now because my mom was like, the TV's broken. And I was like, all right, let me try it. So tried the HDMI cable, didn't work. I was like, I don't know why this isn't working. So we tried our TV upstairs, totally works fine because it's running off the same receiver. Crazy, I don't know, why is it not working? But we have either component or composite cables. Who knows, who knows what they are. And there it is, fixed. Today is the first day of my spring vacation. And I am so excited about that because that means I can sleep in, I can read as much as I want. I can do whatever, I can sit here and do nothing all day. That wouldn't be fun for you, but I can do whatever I want. Here, let me show you what I've been meaning to read in my pile here. We have it. Lily Singh, How to Be a Boss. I borrowed this book from Angela. This is Augustine Burroughs. I've read two other ones. And Jesus, he has had a life. One that I've been working on for a little while now. It's really long. Uh, it's Of Human Bondage. So I'm gonna go get Starbucks. Then I have to make a stop in Norwich for a special secret chip. Ooh! Exciting things. You don't know what you're excited about, but you're excited. Oh, it got super windy all of a sudden. It was so cold and so windy that I decided not to even go to Starbucks. So... So I stopped at the place to do my thing. And I didn't get an answer today, and I'm really sad about it, but I can get an answer electronically, which I did not think was possible, which is why I stopped in in person. So, the hunt continues, and hopefully by this weekend, you'll see what the big thing is that I'm doing that I'm, I'm like, I'm real excited about it. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So Angela showed you all of her books, because that's like her thing. But I like to read, too. One thing on my bookshelf that you're going to see that I have to move is these reflective letters that spell poop. <laughs> so up here is kind of like my hobbies. I have film books. I have some baseball books. Got my John Greens. Uh, I ran some rigs. Got this awesome cat. Books that... I've had for a while, like the ones over here are like Bill Wallace and Shyless Webb. All the things I read when I was little. I already showed you this one. This one's my Stephen King shelf. And then down here is my second Stephen King shelf. These are like classics that I got from Barnes and Noble. Oliver Twist, Jekyll and Hyde, Room with a View, Dorian Gray. And then up here we have Elmore Leonard writer of the story that inspired Justified, so huge fan of that. And then we've got some John Steinbeck up in here. So I have like The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, um, Chronicles of Narnia, Phil Pullman's Dark Materials, books that have been turned into movies, and Slinky. I got uh, Buffy, Justified, Ugly Betty, Entourage, uh, some Grey's Anatomy, some Office, typical classics like Call of the Wild, Moby Dick, Kill a Mockingbird, my absolute favorite. And my second bookshelf, this is mostly where my, um, autobiographies and real life things go. Also, it turned into a DVD and knickknack place. And Harry Potter, because they couldn't fit anywhere else because they're huge. Books for days, knickknacks. And then behind my bed is all my Beekman books. Amy showed you her putting away her laundry, which showed you some of her very bright, colorful things. So I thought I would show you guys some of my favorite items from my own personal closet, including my amazing Doctor Who sweatshirt that I got for Christmas from my brother. I have like a million t-shirts, but this is one of my favorites. My Tree of Gondor Brewery t-shirt. One of my very fun floral work shirts that I get to wear soon because summer is coming. This shirt makes me feel like a glamazon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a super girly girl, but I do own a few dresses and this one has pockets. <laughs> I just love the print on this dress, it's so cute. Sometimes I wear this dress over my bathing suit at the water park. 
So this is one of my favorite dresses because it's yellow. I have this one that I've not had the occasion to wear out of the house in a long time, but it is amazing. I have this dress which I wore for my college graduation. So that's some of the stuff in my closet and let me know if there's anything you particularly liked. I just wanted to vlog about the dog in the car next to me and the fire alarm is going off. Today has been surprisingly productive on my first day off because I went to get my photo inspection done for my car, I went to the bank, I did a lot of laundry, figured I could get that done before the weekend, I changed my bed, I'm at this odd angle because everywhere I turn I have my windows open and I get a glare on my eyes and I don't like it. Charlie, you're so cute. I wanted to share with you the fact that I'm making dumplings and it's terrifying. Like, <laughs> I'm just reheating them too. It's not like I handmade them, um, but I'm going to. You guys can watch that someday. I want to make pork dumplings. But anyways, they're like, this is scary. So now it's time to take the lid off and I'm supposed to leave them until the water goes away. I mean, they look good. They're not, they look thoroughly cooked and puffy. I don't, maybe it's a success, guys. Maybe I did good. They came out good. <laughs> like, look at these. They're perfect. It was like, cook until they're golden brown on bottom. And let me scoot this guy over. Look, look at that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, they are golden brown on the bottom. Follow the instructions sometimes, I guess, because they are not trying to steer you wrong. If you guys have any ideas for things that you would like to see or you would like us to do, feel free to comment them. We're willing to at least entertain the thought of basically anything with limits. That was day 13 of Vita, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you tomorrow for day 14. Okay, bye!